Well, it's January 23rd, 2019, and it's time to replace the battery again in the backhoe. Um, not so happy I have to do this. The last one was purchased from John Deere, and it was a $190 battery, and seemed like the right thing to do. Um, and after not quite a year and a half, it crapped out. So, uh, I've got another video, which I'll link to, but basically, um, you kind of have to take the one light off in order to snake the old battery out. Battery is held in by, uh, the spongy cord and, um, and then you get your two standard automotive style terminals and, uh, that little vent over there, um, was important for that battery and went to the dealer and I was kind of complaining to them about it. I said, well, we have these interstate batteries. I'm like, okay. Uh, this one's 500 cold cranking amps, just like uh, the other battery, which is good for your 1023E, 1025R, 1026R, one series John Deere diesel tractors. And, um, oh boy, battery post terminals and everything can cause cancer. Well, yeah, don't eat lead. It's bad for you. Jesus, the smarts that some people have. Anyway, uh, I'm going to make a lot of notes about the warranty time. And since it is January of 2019, I suppose I ought to pop out these things so I don't forget when this was done. But Power of YouTube will help me, of course, as well. So we'll just pop out January. This is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to um, pop out the parts so that... When you uh, look, you know when it was last done. And so 9 for 19, we're talking about the year. And there it goes. Okay, good. And I'll do the 1 also. So we got 1, 9, right? Um, so if it was, you know, 2012, it would be 12. When it gets to be 2022, you know. I guess you would just do the two, because batteries don't last 10 years. They, they last five if you're lucky. Um, maybe a little more, seven if you got really lucky. Um, I mean, the first backhoe battery I had in here, the original, it lasted probably four years, and it sits out in the shed, and it might not get started for two weeks, and then I'll start it every couple days. Um, never a big deal. But anyway, let's, uh, let's put this together. Well, uh, see if I can find a good place for the phone to sit while I'm trying to record. That sounds like a fun time, too. And maybe we'll put it up here and let her sit, All right? Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Okay. Here we go. You got this? All right, party time. All right, so usual things. Um, you got plastic coating these. That's lead. Um, you got plus and minus. Don't screw that up. And by don't screw that up, I mean don't swap them. Um, I took the old battery to with me. Because uh, if you get sold a battery, they always have a core charge. Core charge means they want the old battery back so they can recycle it. Because lead and acid is poisonous. And, you know, it's not like it's 50 years ago when you just throw that in the landfill and cause all kinds of problems. We want to keep the environment nice and clean. Now, the other fun thing I did was I got a battery terminal cleaner. That's uh, this tool here. Let me put that there for the moment. And uh, effectively, there's two sides to this puppy. This goes into the uh, clamps, and it's a wire brush. And then this goes onto the terminals. This is already kind of cleaned off, but just for demonstration purposes, you shove it on and twist, preferably without doing your hands any damage. That's all. Just a little scrub and uh, break whatever uh, gook is on there off. So you get a nice fresh uh, spot for this to be. 
uh, connected to because that's your electrical contact. We want the best electrical contact possible. All right, so uh, let's try this out. Let's see if we can't get uh, some good imagery of what we're trying to do, cleaning the terminals off. Um, here's the negative terminal, and this is the positive. Um, whether whatever car or truck or whatever you have, there should be some kind of red sheathing. Red indicates positive. If you have difficulty, uh, this is the wire that um, probably goes towards the starter and splits off into you know various other things. Um, there'll be a switch in between, obviously, between this and the starter. That's where you need your most current, usually. Um, if you're trying to trace it yourself. So let's put this side out and scrape the insides of this nicely. Um, all right. It's very stiff because it's cold. Stick that puppy in there and just twist away. We want to get this cleaned out. And not quite shiny, but shiny enough, like brushed shiny. See that? How that uh, sort of reflects in there? That's what you want. You want nice, good contact all around. If it only does it for a certain amount, you gotta do more. Um, I see it sort of did an okay job, so I'm gonna go from the other side and screw at an angle and try and get this nice and cleaned up because, uh, again, good contact means happy, long starting times. And then, of course, uh, corrosion can cause issues as well. You want to make sure that's all cleaned out. That looks pretty darn good at the moment. Okay, good. Um, things that concern me, the rust. You can always put motor oil or something like that or grease to cover that up to keep it from rusting. Uh, the rust is generally from the acid in the batteries. All right, let's do the other one. This one, go from the bottom, because that's the way the posts go, right? Posts are actually tapered. So let's do that. All right. That looks pretty darn good. Okay. Okay, so next fun part, besides so capping this puppy up, so literally, these are, it's a $2 tool. Just get one. It's so, so not a no-brainer. Um, I got a kit from, uh, right. I got a kit from AutoZone Battery Installation Kit. They recommended it. Bottom line is there's this grease. Prevents terminal corrosion. Don't know if that's easy to see. Uh, there we go. Insulates connection. So, yes, um, you could coat the terminals in oil even before putting the posts on and clamp them down. That, but uh, I'd say do it right afterwards. Uh, do get it in there um, because any air that gets in there, uh, any acid that gets in there is going to corrode it and create an insulation. Corrosion is basically insulation to a battery. Okay, let's do this real quick. Um, we'll put this dielectric grease. And these, these uh, fabric things on here. That sounds wonderful. I'm looking for the place where this is. Got a little tear. So I'm going to try and tear this puppy. There we go. Again, for years I haven't done this. We're going to try it out. See how it goes. Red goes to positive. Green negative, according to them. If, it, if the clamps don't go down enough on to these... Oh, look, they got little bust outs. Check this out. Little segments. Huh. Tempted to rip that out. Anyway, uh, if it doesn't go down far enough on there to clamp, I find that a problem. So we'll we'll deal with that when that when we get there. Okay, so here's the grease. Should probably put this all over our terminals. And so there's a little rip here. All right, we'll put a little bit, get some of this, put some on there. Just like 
So you know what this looks like to me? This literally looks like Vaseline. And I remember my dad having a tub of Vaseline in his gas station. Literally for stuff like this. Vaseline, it's sticky. It keeps the oxygen out. It's all good. Um, so that's a tip for you. You don't have to buy the $3.50 kit. I did. Now I know what's in it. I'm telling you. Use Vaseline. Like I say, you could use motor oil, but it kind of washes away after a while. Um, so I'm going to take some of this from each of these and put it into um, the battery um, clamps, the terminals. Terminals? Those are the terminals. Battery clamps. Battery clamps. Sounds better. And I'm going to put that inside each so we got a nice coating all around. Make sure we're not messing around with this. Um, you can actually smear this stuff all over the bolt and everything else on those clamps to help seal out corrosion, acid, whatever. Um, you want that stuff to not get rusty. I guess that's the short of it. Um, because if it does, well, you have to replace the bolt. That's not the worst thing in the world, but everything can be a pain in the butt if you have to do it, especially in the winter. All right. I think that's okay. Might as well just drop this puppy in. So, uh, the plus the plus clamp is on this side. The, the uh, ground clamp is on this side, or minus. Ground is minus. Say it after me. Ground is minus. What is ground? Metal frame, usually. Um, metal instrument panel. And then the plus is uh, the power to your instruments and whatnot. So that's the story. All right, let's do this. These are always bulky and awkward. Luckily there's enough room in here. And it uh, drops way in. So, come here with the camera. Okay, and you can see that's where it drops in. Um, kind of dark in here. There it is, right? And then uh, we'll get the clamps on and everything else. The bungee cord would just go across the top and hook in. So we'll do that for now, real quick. Try and, that's supposed to retain it. It's a little loose. I think it's gonna be time for a better bungee cord. Uh, oops, for our purposes. So, that's that right there. Now, uh, yeah, what else can we do here? I'm going to trap this here. And we're going to go do... There we go. Okay. We're going to get this clamp put on. Okay. And we just put that on there. And we wiggle it all the way down. So we should shove that puppy on. And that should be good. Okay. And then we tighten it. And then likewise with the other side. And then life should be good. So there I push the one battery post on and I will tighten that up. I'm going to have to get a better bungee cord and um, we'll put the other post on real quick here. All right, at this point we have uh, both battery terminals clamped on nicely, a uh, half inch bolt, a uh, half inch nut I should say, tightened in. So that should be good. And I uh, have to bolt back in the headlight here because I had to remove that for access. So we'll do that and then we'll get her started. This slides into two slots and then bolts in. So I 
bolted in the light. It just has these two bolts over here, and otherwise it slides into little tabs over here. So now it's time to start this puppy up. Okay, newly installed interstate battery, 24 months. Uh, I'm going to have to step on the brake to start this puppy. So we'll, uh, at the very least, the glow plug's going. Life is good. Real socket set. Great. 